Good morning. My name is Rosaria Cirillo and welcome in my home office. Uh, I'm actually quite used to work in my home office. I've done it for now the past seven years since I'm freelance. Uh, but this is actually the first time that I even do a recording um, out of my home office. So I actually set it up especially for this occasion and therefore bear with me as I'm also learning and adjusting with you as the lighting also still uh, changes. Uh, this is actually my third time doing um, uh, this, participating into this kickoff. And the first time that Audrey actually asked me to join the kickoff already uh, two years ago in July 2018, I was about to turn 40. And that is when I realized that I was you 20 years ago and you were me 20 years from now. And as I, um, and as I wondered about what to talk about you, I start thinking about what did I wish that I was told 20 years ago. Do you ever wonder where will you be 20 years from now and what is um, that will make you happy and successful eventually while making money? Today I would like to share with you my journey so far and uh, uh, um, the role that personal development has played over my career for the past 20 years and how um, I've been managing to be, what, what is success and what is happiness for me along this journey. But so first, let's agree on some definition. Uh, what does success mean to you? How do you define success? Is it about having a job or doing the work you love? Is it about personal growth, career growth, money growth, as in making more money every year? Or is it about the quality of the relationship, making an impact in people's lives and contributing to other people's happiness? Take a moment to think about it, maybe pause the video until you have your definition of success. Uh, for me, success is about all of the above, um, especially pursuing happiness and contributing to other people's happiness. But then, what is happiness? What is your definition? Once again, take a moment um, to think through about your definition of happiness before I share mine with you. And again, pause maybe the video. My definition of happiness is when what you think, what you say, what you do, what you feel, and what you experience are in harmony. Being happy and success go hand in hand. Having success without being happy is actually useless. Uh, and being happy is ultimately our goal. And the latest research proved that when we are happy, we are also the most successful. Life is really a journey that we can make as extraordinary as we can. First enjoying the journey and then the destination. Uh, and personal development has also a major role into all of that. So let me share with you what has been my journey to date. First, I'm originally Italian, as you might hear from my accent. I come from a city called Caserta, which has a magnificent royal palace with three kilometers garden close by Naples. And I went to study business economics in Rome um, with the intention of understanding better econo happiness through the lens of economics. And as I was writing my thesis in 2002 on customer experience, I came for the first time to the Netherlands for an internship at Forrester Research. That internship ultimately um, became a full-time job, turned into a full-time job, and I've never left Netherlands ever since. So I've been living here in the Netherlands for 18 years now. Um, and over those 18 years, I've been having a number of roles. My first 12 years were into corporate environment. Again, I started at Forest Research, where the internship um, became a full-time position as responsible for the Italian uh, market. Forrester was an incredibly international company. I had managers from every nationality uh, with an headquarters in US, so also very strong US um, culture in there. Then I went to Stream, which was a contact center, and that was also quite interesting because we were providing support across all over Europe, which means the team I was part of, Adobe, was extremely international, but the management of Stream was very Dutch, so there was quite some cultural uh, crush and the headquarter and the top management was from US. 
So once again, there was a lot of cultural uh, differences there. Um, and after Stream, where I was business improvement manager, I joined the team of Philips as responsible for the customer experience of the online shop when Philips was just starting to go direct uh, through uh, e-commerce. So it was a completely uh, something completely new for the company. The team I was part of in Amsterdam was again very international with international management, mostly French, but also other um, uh, uh, nationalities. Uh, but the other part of the team, consumer care, was mostly in Eindhoven and mostly Dutch. So again, I had to learn to juggle those different um, cultures. Uh, but most of all, I really had to learn how to navigate work, how to uh, be at work and, uh, and learn all the personal, um, all the personal skills, um, presentation skills, communication skills, managing conflict. All of those items were items which I did not have the luck to have a dedicated courses like you luckily have right now. Um, I learned nothing about this all on the university and I only got those type of um, courses over um, my profession in, in the organization. So all, everything I learned, I learned on the job. In the first uh, three years, it was mostly focused on communication and sales, because I was also having a role in sales. Um, then um, uh, it became much more about management, because I was also like business improvement manager and team manager, managing people. So also having to handle sickness management, team management, also project management. And in my third company, it became much more about leadership and performance management. I also did the black belt training. I was incredibly lucky to have all of those trainings at those companies, yet I had to learn on the job, taking time next to work and making also my mistakes on the job. While as I look at you guys today, I think how lucky, uh, how fortunate are you to have the possibility of doing all those courses before you actually hit the work floor. This is going to give you an amazing competitive advantage, not only in terms of competencies, but also really in terms of your own happiness. Because at the university, you have a safe environment in which you can really play and learn all of this. And if you look at, uh, at this list, there are two things. One, not all the companies offer so much and you are always in the driving seat. So it's always going to be up to you to do those courses. But there is something fundamental missing here. Can you see what this is? All of those courses are really about the what, the knowledge, the actions, the results. There is quite also something about the process, and a lot of this I learned on the um, job. But there is much less, if very little, in here about the why and about the how in terms of soft skills, about emotional intelligence. Those are also absolutely key, uh, key, key elements in our growth. Um, and I have to say, other than in my last company, those were not as much provided by the companies I worked for. So ultimately, um, I had to learn this for myself. And, and what are the ways that we can learn about um, new competences, new skills, especially when it comes to, uh, to personal growth? Um, you have courses, but you have also something else. You have practice, so learning it on the job, and you have books. What is your preference? For me, it's been about putting them all together. So outside of the work, I follow the following uh, most impactful courses. Um, so I learned a lot from actually from improvisation classes at Boom Chicago. I also did mindfulness. And actually, in the, um, this was at the very beginning, but in the last year, I've been doing a lot of Qigong, which is also teaching me a lot about putting together, um, nurturing the body, the mind, and the soul. Um, I've been doing storytelling. I've done non-violent communication or um, again, acting classes, theater. Uh, and I've done intuitive uh, painting, which has also been one of my favorites because not only I learned a lot about creativity there, but I also met incredible person like Audrey, uh, for example, is one of the content that comes from that course. And I've learned to express myself in ways that were very strong for me. And in the last two years, I followed the Happiness Studies Academy by Talben Shahar. So for me, 
even with the courses that you do after university, it's never ending. Uh, now, it's always a continuous learning or relearning what we know because we easily forget. And all those courses have been chosen and paid by myself, mostly in my career as freelance. If this is about the courses, I also have a quick list for you here of the books um, that most impact my growth. At the beginning, you can see it was very much about getting in the, in the workforce. So, so what are my strengths? Um, uh, what color is your parachute to really understand what type of job that I really want to do. And then later learning more about leadership, emotional intelligence, communication, um, and in the last years more about positive intelligence, daring, uh, or also rising. So after daring and falling down, how do you stand up again? And it is all, thanks to all of those courses and those books that I have actually been able to be successful but most of all to be happy and i also managed to have the courage seven years ago to start my own consultancy company wow now which is about bringing my very own vision of uh, happiness driven growth because i believe that companies can um, be successful and profitable by putting happiness at the center and letting everything else uh, come as a result i even did a tedx talk about this topic I then wrote two years ago a book, Yellow Goldfish, uh, about happiness and how companies can contribute to happiness for their customers, their employees, and society overall. And this is for you today. It's going to be free for you to download as my gift to you. Uh, after that, I went to Bhutan to continue my search for happiness and understand even how does Bhutan do and how to develop gross national happiness. Um, or further, um, when the developments of the intuitive painting last year this is on the top of uh, um, eagle's nest in bay colorado i've been facilitating myself so moving from student to facilitator and intuitive painting classes with 50 people top performer of a company in us um, that was only thanks to the personal development which i'd done before for my own good without even knowing what will it bring later if anything and finally and the early this year, I graduated from the Happiness Studies Academy from Todd Ben Sherrard, and I've published uh, four more books, or in, actually five, uh, Yellow Goldfish in Italian, and few artistic booklets, um, like Word of Wisdom, which is in English, which is also going to be um, uh, free for you to download today. And um, finally, I want to share with you what has been my, as a summary, as a recap, what has been my magic wand. Is there a magic wand? Well, there isn't. It's really about figuring it all out and learning as you go. But if I had to um, recap uh, with, in hindsight what helped me, I could summarize it in what I called the 4D, the 4T, and the 4F. So first is about discover. Just follow through and discover. And just trust that it will serve you, or maybe not, later on. Then there just there to out there and do what you feel like to do trusting your instinct design the life and the work and the reality that you want to um, live trusting the process you might not see the end right now but just the process trust the process and finally go out and do it trusting that the world needs your contribution and as you do this, the four F, learn to fail, because if you don't fail, you need to fail often and to fail fast, because when you don't do that, you will uh, fail to learn. And the F is about finding your tribe. There is nothing as strong as the people around you that can support you through uh, your growth, and that can give you feedback. So the last tip here is also ask and give feedback, because through the feedback, that we can all grow and we can understand how can we help and impact and support others. So that counts for me as well. I'm here open to hear question and feedback. So just send me an email to feedback at oneow.eu if you have a question. And very finally, before leaving you, I want to ask you the following. Look at this picture. Imagine yourself in this hair balloon that magically takes you and transports you 20 years from now. Imagine yourself in 20 years. What do you see? Where are you? 
Are you happy? Are you successful in 20 years? Are you doing work you love? And if you were standing here in my place today, what would your office look like? What would, be, what would you be telling to the students if you were in my place? I invite you to take five minutes later today to write down your answer to those questions for yourself on an A4 and then place it on the wall to be reminded of the journey that you want to travel in the next 20 years or write yourself a note to open up a later point in few years to be reminded um, and just write yourself that postcard and specify the date in which you want to open it and this is what I want to leave you with today um, I hope this was useful for you Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Please share your feedback with me by sending your, um, an email to feedback at one out of you. And as my thank you to you today, I would like to share with you two of my books, um, which you can download for free today on Kindle. Um, so one, it's Yellow Factor Happiness in Business, which is about nine ways that um, people in companies can increase happiness for customers, employees, and society overall. But the tips in the book also work for our personal happiness and the other book it's words of wisdom nurturing our world which is a collection of intuitive paintings with motivational quotes linked to the paintings um, for both of them you can go on those links and the same for words of wisdom if your registration is not on dot com or on dot nl just replace that one with the country um, where you have your registration on uh, and alternatively if you do have it in the Netherlands you can also use those uh, short uh, um, link uh, one out you slash yellow factor nl or one out you slash words of wisdom kindle nl I really hope you enjoy the books and if you download and read them I would really appreciate also your reviews on Amazon thank you so much again and now we will take your questions thank you